I saved my son Frankie because of the love that he had. You know, and to me, like love is everything. We do a lot of things in life because of love. At least for me, it's always been like my force and like a motivator to keep on going. Absolutely. I mean, and I see you getting a little bit emotional, but mm -hmm. I want you to know as a viewer, at least it comes across how much you guys all do love each other. Even that scene that was very difficult, I'm sure for you to watch and yes. for us even as, as viewers to watch, when Todd mm -hmm. um, was arguing with you guys about the treatment mm -hmm. that you guys give Frankie, mm -hmm. um, it, the love and the passion still came through. And at some point, someone needs to speak up. And I'm not gonna let this guy go down this road. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> we have to be strong for Frankie. Have you guys done anything differently with his recovery since then? We've continued. The whole thing is that as an outsider, you know, people are always gonna have an opinion and judge even your family, but they don't know what it is like the day to day and why Frankie is where he is today because of us, you know what I mean? So like you guys didn't see that for eight years, I haven't been on TV. You never really got to see all of Frankie's recovery process and he's still a work in progress, you know, as we all are in different ways, you know, more than anything Frankie because he's still recovering, you know, from the accident. So I know how to help Frankie and I have been helping him for the last 10 years. I mean, doctors will tell you if he wouldn't have had a mom like me, he wouldn't have made it. You know, I never accepted no, I, I, I never, you know, gave up. I continued, you know, I did my own thing. I went to all the doctors. Yes, I was blessed to have the resources and to have an educational background because, you know, a lot of these kids don't have that. So he was very fortunate. But even with all that, I can tell you that what saved him and all the doctors on my team, on his team, would say is the love, you know, that the love that he had. My heart goes out to you because you only know the struggles day in and day out. But I actually think it might be a good idea, to, hopefully, if, if Peacock and Bravo will show mm -hmm. it in the next season, mm -hmm. a little bit more of his recovery process, because I think the blessing in disguise here could be the fact that this happened to your family, but because you're on such mm -hmm. a big platform, maybe you could help other families in similar situations. Well, during the three um, months that we were filming, we had a doctor's appointment, which is the doctor that's been treating him. And it was Frankie's 10th year anniversary of his accident, August 14th. So I had the doctor's appointment and, you know, we talked about filming it and we went, Peter and I and, and Frankie. And that wasn't going to make it, but now it is going to make it. Because when I saw it, well, yes, I said, you know what? You know how many people in America you're going to help? This is one of the reasons why I did the show. What I'm gathering from the Frankie situation with this doctor appointment is that you spoke to the producers and you made it a point to say, hey, this really should make the cut. Is that what happened? A hundred percent, yeah. Obviously. My life, yes, I've got, a lot of things happen in my life, but I'm still smiling because I'm also grateful and blessed. And I also have a lot of beautiful, great moments in my life. It's not like my life is just like, you know, craziness and a disaster. And that's why I've never like played that card, you know? And I don't like when the other ladies like, oh my God, we feel sorry for you because like everything happens to you and like whatever. And I'm like, no, 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 don't feel sorry for me because I don't feel sorry for myself. And that's why I'm the way I am. If I would feel sorry for myself, God knows I would've been on like psychiatric ward or like on medication or on something. And like, I don't like, that's not like who I want to be known as. Like, I'm not that person. You can get all the therapy and you just can't fix it. You know, and, and I know it. And like I said, I'm blessed and grateful that he's here because if not, I wouldn't have been here. Neither would his brother. Like his brother was like, if my brother doesn't make it, I'm like, killing myself like it was really really bad like, you guys have no idea the only families that can relate to this are again families that have been in this situation yeah which is terrible are you but, supposed to therapy right now to deal with a little bit of the pain that's still there i haven't gone around to that because i need to find like the right person you know there's a lot of therapists that like to medicate people there's other therapists that you know, um, you have different strategies and I haven't found the right person. I mean, and I don't want to be negative. I'm super optimistic, you know, about everything. Maybe they'll give us like mechanisms or like coping, you know, coping mechanisms in order to make it better. Sometimes everybody says, oh, time heals all things. It gets better, you know, it does get better, but um, it's, it's always like there, you know, like our, our heart's like a little broken.